Welcome to the captivating story of Minnie Ripperton, her life, career, and soulful voice that touched hearts and left an indelible mark on the music industry. So let's dive in. Minnie Julia Ripperton Rudolph, born on November 8, 1947 in Chicago, Illinois, to Thelma Inez and Daniel Webster Ripperton, a Pullman Porter. As the youngest among eight siblings in a family deeply rooted in music, Minnie Ripperton embraced the arts from a tender age. While she initially embarked on ballet and modern dance, her innate vocal and musical talents soon became evident to her parents. Recognizing her potential, they wholeheartedly supported her journey and encouraged Minnie to delve deeper into music and voice training, setting the stage for her extraordinary career in the realm of music. At Chicago's Abraham Lincoln Center, Minnie Ripperton received rigorous operatic vocal training from Marion Jeffrey, focusing on breathing, phrasing, and diction. Under Jeffrey's guidance, Ripperton explored her full vocal range while performing operettas and show tunes, geared towards an opera career. Despite Jeffrey's encouragement to pursue classical studies at Chicago's Junior Lyric Opera, Ripperton's interest shifted towards soul, rhythm and blues, and rock. After graduating from Hyde Park High School, she briefly attended Loop College and joined Zeta Phi Beta Sorority before dropping out to pursue her music career. Ripperton's musical journey began at 15 with The Gems, where blind pianist Reynard Minor discovered her talent while she sang with Hyde Park's a cappella choir. The group transitioned into Studio 3, backing Fontella bass hit, Rescue Me, in 1965. Despite limited commercial success, The Gems released local hits like, I Can't Help Myself, and, He Makes Me Feel So Good. Ripperton, known as Andrea Davis for her early singles, collaborated with mentor Billy Davis, releasing, Lonely Girl, and, You Gave Me Soul. Watered Down, marked the end of her girl group era with the Starlets in 1968. In 1966, shortly after her Andrea Davis singles gained radio traction, Ripperton joined Rotary Connection, a funk rock soul group formed by Marshall Chess, son of Chess Records founder Leonard Chess. The band included Ripperton, Chess, Judy Hauf, Sidney Barnes, and Charles Stepney. They released their debut self-titled album in 1968, followed by five more albums, Aladdin, 1968, Peace, 1968, Songs, 1969, Dinner Music, 1970, and Hey Love, 1971. Ripperton and Rotary Connection performed at the first Catholic Rock Mass during the Liturgical Conference National Convention in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, in 1969. During her time with The Rotary Connection, Ripperton met songwriter and producer Richard Rudolph and they married in 1969. Together, Rudolph and Ripperton worked on Ripperton's first solo album, which was released in 1970 and named, Come to My Garden. The album was produced, arranged, as well as orchestrated by her Rotary Connection bandmate Charles Stepney on GRT Records. On the night of December 26, 1970, she was presented by Ramsey Lewis as a solo artist at the famed London House in Chicago at which time she performed several selections from the album. Although the album did not achieve much commercial success, it is considered by music critics as a masterpiece. After a two-year hiatus in Gainesville, Florida, Ripperton, now a homemaker and mother of two, was discovered by a college intern for Epic Records in 1973. Impressed by a demo of, Seeing You This Way, the intern brought it to Don Ellis, vice president of A&R for Epic. Ripperton signed with Epic Records, prompting a move to Los Angeles, California. The subsequent album, Perfect Angel, became one of her best-selling records, featuring hits like, Reasons, Also, Take a Little Trip, co-produced by Stevie Wonder, and, Seeing You This Way. Initially slow sales prompted Epic to consider moving on, but Rudolph convinced them to release another single. Love and You, the fourth single, propelled the album to success, reaching the top of the charts in the US and 24 other countries in April 1975. It sold over 1 million copies, earning Ripperton a gold disc from the RIAA. Perfect Angel, also showcased, Every Time He Comes Around, featuring Denise Williams on background vocals. Following, Perfect Angel, Minnie Ripperton and her husband, songwriter Richard Rudolph, embarked on her third album, Adventures in Paradise, in 1975. Joe Sample of the Crusaders co-wrote the title track, while Stuart Levine of the Crusaders co-produced the album. While filming a promotional clip, Ripperton was attacked by a lion, though she sustained no serious injuries. She later shared the footage of the incident on the Sammy Davis Jr. show. Despite the R&B hit, Inside My Love, the album achieved only modest success and didn't match the acclaim of Perfect Angel. Some radio stations declined to play Inside My Love due to its suggestive lyrics. In 1976, Minnie Ripperton worked on her fourth solo album, Stay In Love, a romantic fantasy set to music, released in 1977. She collaborated with Stevie Wonder on the funky disco tune, Stick Together. During this time, Ripperton discovered she was battling breast cancer. 
The following year, President Jimmy Carter honored her with the American Cancer Society's Courage Award, and she subsequently became the chairwoman, using her platform to raise awareness and support for cancer research and advocacy. In 1978, Ripperton signed a new contract with Capitol Records and began work on her last album, titled, Mini. The album contained the hits, Memory Lane, and, Lover and Friend. Personally, Minnie Ripperton and her husband, Richard Rudolph, who married in August 1970, shared two children, Mark Rudolph, born in 1968, and Maya Rudolph, born in 1972. Maya, known for her Saturday Night Live tenure, was a child when Ripperton recorded, Love and You. The song's melody was created to entertain Maya, allowing Ripperton and Rudolph quality time together. In the song's unedited version, Ripperton affectionately sings, Maya, Maya, Maya. Healthwise, on August 24, 1976, Minnie Ripperton bravely disclosed on The Tonight Show that she had undergone a mastectomy due to breast cancer. Unfortunately, Ripperton received devastating news as her cancer had already metastasized to the lymphatic system, leaving her with an estimated six months to live. Despite the diagnosis, she continued touring in 1977 and 1978, even serving as the national spokeswoman for the American Cancer Society's 1978-1979 campaign. During the recording of her final non-posthumous album, Mini, her condition worsened, causing immense pain. By early 1979, extreme lymphedema rendered her right arm immobile. In her last televised singing performances, including on The Mike Douglas Show, her right arm remained fixed. As her health declined, Ripperton made poignant changes to the lyrics of, Love and You, replacing, Maya, 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 with, Maya, Maya, Ringo, Maya, as, Ringo, was her affectionate nickname for her son, Mark. By mid-June, Ripperton was bedridden, and on July 10, she was admitted to Cedars-Sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles. On Thursday, July 12, 1979, at 10 a.m., Minnie Ripperton passed away in the arms of her husband. Her funeral, attended by over 500 mourners, took place that Sunday, and she was laid to rest in the Westwood Village Memorial Park Cemetery in Los Angeles. Her epitaph, the opening line of her iconic song, reads, Loving you is easy cause you're beautiful. Stevie Wonder paid tribute to Ripperton on an episode of the TV show Soul Train shortly after her passing in September 1979. Years later, on June 7, 2009, TV One premiered a one-hour documentary on Ripperton's life and career as part of its Unsung series, featuring interviews with her husband Richard, son Mark, daughter Maya, sister Sandra Ripperton, and others who collaborated with her. Throughout her career, Minnie Ripperton contributed backing vocals to Stevie Wonder's tracks, Creepin', and It Ain't No Use, from 1974's Fulfilling This First Finale, as well as Ordinary Pain, from 1976's Songs in the Key of Life. Additionally, in 1977, she showcased her vocal talents on the track, Yesterday and Karma, on Asamu Katajima's album, Asamu. Ripperton possessed an innate coloratura soprano vocal range giving her the ability to sing in a whistle register, producing a sound almost mechanical. Mariah Carey acknowledged that she was highly influenced by Ripperton's range above the scale. And there you have it. As we conclude the journey through Minnie Ripperton's life, let us remember her unparalleled talent, unwavering spirit, and the enduring impact she made through her extraordinary voice. Like and subscribe and thank you for joining us. Take care and bye for now.